Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, we're going to do some painting and highlighting. Uh, I switched the camera angle to the other side because I just realized that I'm left-handed and that... <laughs> no. I've known I'm left-handed for a long time. I just realized that being left-handed, if I kept the camera on the other side, my arm would be in the way the whole time. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm using the same brush that I used to put the goop on. Um, it's just fine for dry brushing. It's got a relatively stiff bristle, but it's not you know real stiff and short like this. I don't actually like these for dry brushing or the way I do it anyway. So uh, I'm I'm actually gonna use three different grays and a white and a little bit of yellow. We've already got black on here and a real dark gray from the goop. So I'm actually using five highlight shades if you're just doing game, gaming tabletop stuff, you don't have to do that. Three highlight shades will probably be plenty, but the more shades you have, the more depth the, the model has. So I, I end up doing five when I'm doing granite type rock most of the time. So we're just going to start with a, a dark gray. Um, I'm going to show you all the painting, but I'm going to do a lot of time lapse and not, you know, just babble through the whole thing. Um, so. I'll tell you what I'm doing and then we'll time lapse through it and and so this will be nice and short. So the first um, the first color I'm doing I'm, I'm actually going to do uh, over brushing instead of dry brushing. Same concept, same motions, just more paint on the brush so you don't get it all off. And then you just kind of sweep it back and forth and you're going to get most most everything is going to have this color on it. You're just leaving the deep rest recesses um, alone where we had the black wash. Okay, so I got the, the first layer of overbrushing done. Make sure you're using a crummy brush for this because the overbrushing, the dry brushing is really going to rip up the, the brush. Um, don't go using a nice Winsor Newton Series 7 miniature brush for this because it'll be ruined. Um, just use the dollar store brushes. They're fine for terrain. Um, so we want to let this layer dry. It's going to take a little bit of time, but you want it to, to be completely dry before you go with the next layer or you're going to have kind of a mess, or at least that's the way I like to do it. 
Um, also, when I was dry brushing this, I don't know if you can see it, but this is coming up a little bit. So I'm going to go fix that, and then, uh, then I'll come back and we'll do some more. And we're back. All right, this is dry. I've re-glued this stuff back down, so it's on there real good. And we're going to go to the next color, a medium gray. Now, the, the amount of paint I'm going to use on this is probably not technically dry brushing either. Um, but it's going to be less than what I use. So each highlight is going to have less and less paint in it. So it's the same technique. You just wipe off a little more of the paint and go a little lighter on your strokes. So that's basically it. Just go over the whole thing like this. And so here's a little working music. 